There's a guy named Fred and he's got a pair of slacks. Ooh, Fred's got slacks. Real quite sharp, but they're a little tight in the waist. Ooh, Fred's got slacks on the foot. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big hand for Ratchet and Clank. They'll take home a rare first edition Quark video comic. And here to present the grand prize, the incredible, incomparable, intalented Courtney Gears! If we play this right, she'll lead us right to Dr. Nefarious. Better let me do the talking. It is an honor for you to meet me. I mean, you, me, to meet you, Miss Gears. Hi. <laughs> Hi. My, my. You're even more gorgeous in person than you are on the hollow, Agent Clank. I've got a few secrets of my own that uh, might need your special investigation. <laughs> uh, yes, um, I will report your concerns to the proper authorities. Oh, Agent Clank, you always know exactly what to say to a woman. You know, I'd do anything to play a part in one of your hollow films. That could be arranged, Miss Gears. If you are willing to provide information on the whereabouts of Dr. Nefarious. Dr. Nefarious? Hmm. You have been busy, haven't you? You just get me that part, and I'll tell you anything you want to know. Excellent. Meet me at Hollow Star Studios. Episode 3. Shadow of the Robot. For six days, Captain Quark clung to the ship like the dung of a giant green space bird. Finally, the ship arrived at its destination, a secret robotic laboratory on planet Magmos. Drawing on his mastery of the ancient art of disguise, Quark slipped into the laboratory completely undetected. Somebody... <coughs> Somebody ordered pizza? Quark's plan was flawless, but unbeknownst to our hero, his every move was being watched. The famous Captain Cork couldn't possibly be this stupid, could he? Even drooling imbeciles can achieve success in certain fields, sir. Mad science, for example. Shall I have him annihilated, then? Let him come to us. I'll have a special surprise waiting for him. <laughs> It's over, Nefarious. Never! I am the greatest genius the galaxy has ever known! You're no match for the likes of me! <laughs> That's rich. I used to beat up geeks like you in high school. I'll bet your prom date came in a box that said batteries not included. Say, come to think of it, we've met before, haven't we? No! Uh, no! Of course not. Mr. Bozell's ninth grade biology class. Uh, I always hated biology. That's right. You were that freak with the headgear. Remember how he used to clean the chalkboard with your pants <laughs> while you were still wearing them? Oh, good times. You were three times my size, you stupid old. I was always big for my age. You were 26. Say, how about a wedgie for old times' sake? I think it's safe to say we've seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Time to celebrate another job well done. But the danger was far from over. For in defeating one menace to the galaxy, Quark had created another, even more terrifying evil. Cover me! Oh, man down! It's all right, Skid. The fight's over. Yes! I mean, no. That blows, man. I would have been here sooner, but I, uh, I encountered some heavy-duty resistance. Enemy troops? Well, uh, not exactly. The drive through a Galaxy Burger was wicked slow, and... Anyway, looks like that last moon is surrounded by an Omega-class disintegration field. Whatever's going on out there, it can't be good. If I had the right tools, I could hack into that generator and shut the field down. Hey, lucky for you dudes, I brought this. Stand back, bro. I'm like a trained professional and stuff. Don't try this at home. Oh, man, it's busted. Oh, wait, never mind. Incoming call from the Galactic Rangers. Sarge, Blackwater City is under attack! The noise came out of nowhere. The situation is extreme. 
screen we uh get some well we're, we're pretty much hosed, sir. Run for your lives! No! Sir, requesting immediate assistance! Whoa! I guess I'll be canceling that hoverboard trip to Blackwater City. The Rangers need our help. Let's go. Uh, I'll, like, catch up with you guys? I think this lock is gonna take a while. Okay, give us a call if anything comes up. That was a close one, Sarge. Thanks for the backup. I tripped over these gravity boots while I was running from the Tyranoids. I believe they're your size. Jeeves, activate the cloaking device. With pleasure, sir. Now you see us, now you... Oh, crud. Cut, cut, that's it! You've disgraced my set for the last time, kid. Take a basket weaving, you're fired! Get me the monkey. I'll see you at the trailer, Clank. Agent Clank, meet your new sidekick. All right, forget the chase scene and go right to the grand finale. You did read the script I sent you. Uh, uh, first, you narrowly survive a series of death-defying stunts, yada yada. You defeat the terror of Talos, yada yada yada. Finally, you rescue the Baroness, played by the lovely Miss Courtney Gears. Okay. And... action! All in a day's work. Cut! Print it! That's a wrap, people! Pure box office raritanium clank! Even the critics are gonna love it. You have no idea what a thrill it is to be rescued by a big hunk of titanium alloy like yourself. <laughs> Perhaps now you will tell me what Dr. Nefarious is planning. I have a better idea. Why don't you ask him yourself? I have a present for you, Snicky Wookums. Ah, I told you to stop calling me that! Just bring me Agent Clank! Of course, darling. Where am I? Is someone there? I seem to... Agent Clank, it is an honor to finally make your acquaintance. I have been following your exploits ever since your first mission, when you defeated the mind-stealing stop beasts from Dimension X. I believe there has been a misunderstanding. Secret Agent Clang is merely a fictional character I play on the horror video. Lies! Squishy lies! Oh, Larry, I can't. It's not right. You're my cousin's uncle's son. Lies! You are a hero to robots across the galaxy, and yet... You deny your own destiny! You choose to bow and scrape before the squishies! Where is your pride in who you are, Agent Clank? Organic life forms have as much right to inhabit this galaxy as we do. I see no reason to exclude them. I will give you a reason. Join me, and together we will rule an entire galaxy of robots. Or refuse. Remain a traitor to your own kind and follow your beloved squishies into the black hole of oblivion! Clank should have been back by now. What could be taking him so long? Clank, where have you been? I thought something happened to you. I was having my sprockets lubed. You picked a fine time for a tune-up. Where's Courtney Gears? Miss Gears has left the planet. What? W what about Nefarious? Did she tell you where he is? Dr. Nefarious is aboard a star cruiser called the Leviathan. Um, okay. Nice job, Clank. So, I'll just call Sasha and have her track down that star cruiser. <laughs> <laughs>